the easiest way to build backlinks. Look, backlinks don't have to be hard to build. Everyone says, write amazing content, you're gonna get links. You know what, if you write the content, don't promote it, no one's gonna see it, no one's gonna link to it. Even if you promote it, it's still hard to get links. People used to be willing to link way more back in the day than they are now. So one way that a lot of people build links, and this isn't my favorite way, but I'm gonna actually mention two ways. I'm gonna break down the second easiest way, and then I'm gonna break down the easiest way. The second easiest way to build links is using the backlink opportunity report in Ubersuggest. So when you go to Ubersuggest, you put in your domain name and you put in three of your competitors, it'll show you everyone who links to your competitors but does not link to you. Think of it this way, if someone links to one of your competitors, will they link to you? Maybe, they may like your competition and not you. Look, if someone is willing to link to not one, not two, but three of your competitors, the chances are they'll link to you because they're not loyal to any competitors. So with the backlink opportunity report, it shows you the exact pages people are linking to your competitors. And if someone's linking to three of your competitors and you see the exact pages, you would just want to create a better version of those pages, email them, chances are they'll be willing to swap out the link. Not everyone will, but a good chance. Now, that's not the easiest way I've built links, but that is my second favorite way. Now, my favorite way of building links. All right, have you ever seen neilpatel.com slash ubersuggest? That's a tool. It's a tool on SEO and it helps you get more traffic. It's a free tool. There's also a paid version, but you can do a lot of stuff for free. What a lot of my competitors charge for, you can do for free. So here's what's cool about it. If you release enough stuff for free in a tool that people are used to paying for, whether it's $5 or $10 or $100, people link to that. Why? Because it's easy. People love linking to stuff that's easy and cheap, right? Or free. Why would you pay $5 when you can pay zero? So if it's easy for them, they don't have to swipe a credit card, they don't have to pay, there's no user registration, they're much more likely to link to it. That Ubersys tool has over 10,000 backlinks. So how do you build a tool if you don't have tons of money? Well, you can use sites like Code Canyon, and at Code Canyon, you can find tools on almost every industry, so pay maybe 10, 20, 30 dollars, white label it, pop it on your website. Over time, it helps you build links, even if you suck at promoting it. Believe it or not, I learned that one the hard way. Um, that's why I love tools so much. Or you can just go Google for like free, you know, SEO tool, free white label, you know, uh, real estate tool, and then just pop them on your website and then over time, it'll start generating you backlinks. That's how you build links in the easiest way. It's a long-term approach, works super well. I don't recommend that you stop writing content or stop doing any of the other link building approaches, but you should just pop up the tool on your website and just give it time and you'll build links, plus do what you're already doing and that everyone else is talking about. When you combine both of them, that's how you start beating your competition when it comes to building backlinks and outranking them. If you need help with this strategy, check out my ad agency, NP Digital. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'm here to help you out. Thank you very much.